chapter 10, Mishnah 1. Much of this chapter deals with a one-room house that has an opening in its roof. In such a building, the ohel formed by the roof of the house does not include the space, the space beneath the opening. The house is thus divided into two areas. The area under the actual roof, which is an ohel, and the area under the opening, which is not an ohel. If there is an opening in the roof of a house, and it is at least a tefach square, the law is as follows. If there is tuma, such as a piece of corpse in the house, i.e. under the roof, utensils on the ground opposite, i.e. By lo below, the opening remain tahor, because they are not in the ohel of the tuma. And the source... And if the source of Tuma is opposite, i.e. below the opening, utensils under the roof of the house remain Tahor, because the Tuma under the opening goes up to the sky in a straight line, and does not spread into the house. In the next case, someone standing on the roof steps on the opening and covers it with his foot. Whether the source of Tuma is in the house, i.e. under the roof, or opposite the opening, if someone places his foot over the opening, covering it completely, he combines the tuma. That is, his foot forms an ohel over the space, over the space beneath the opening, which combines with the ohel under the roof. Everything in the house is now in one ohel. Therefore, regardless of where the source of tuma is located, all utensils in the house, both those under the roof and those under the opening, become tame. In addition, the person himself becomes tame because the tuma extends through the opening to his body. The Mishnah returns to a case where the opening is not covered. It considers the law where Kazaias of corpse, the minimum amount of corpse flesh that can spread tuma, is partially under the roof and partially under the opening. If part of the tuma is in the house, i.e. under the roof, and part of it is opposite the opening, utensils under the roof of the house become tame, and utensils opposite, i.e. directly above the part of the tuma that is under the opening, also become tame. Utensils under the roof become tame because they are in the same ohel as the part of the kazais under the roof, and utensils above the part of the kazais that is under the opening also become tame because they are in the path of that piece's tuma, which travels directly upward to the sky. How, although there is less than a kazais in either place, each piece transmits tuma because it is part of a complete kazais.